according to Google, as of this moment, there are 8.1 billion people on this planet. That is 8.1 billion souls, 8.1 billion stories, all different and unique in their own way. Every time I think about this, it truly humbles me to know that I'm just one amongst all those beating hearts. Even if I just take the people in this room, every single one of you is different in your biological makeup, in your way of life, even in the way you think. So much diversity, and yet as a collective, for as long as humans have existed, we've always looked towards the future. Our undying need to transform ourselves, learn from our mistakes, is what makes us special as a species. A common misconception in today's fast-paced life is that this transformation happens quick and easy. Like, there are a lot of Instagram ads, TV commercials, YouTube tutorials, quick life hacks teaching us how to find inner peace, how to lose weight in 10 days, how to become fair in five days, how to manifest your dreams, and this one's my favorite, how to get rich fast. No amount of these hacks will ever provide a comprehensive understanding of how to reach true transformation, how to achieve true transformation. Now, when I talk about transformation, I'm not talking about Shah Rukh Khan's six-pack in six months, no. I'm talking about transformation as a wholesome experience that focuses on finding joy and happiness in our everyday lives. About 10 days back, when I got a call from TEDx Oak Ridge Bachpali asking me if I'd be keen to speak on the stage here today, my response was, yes, for sure. And then they mentioned the theme of today, which was alchemy. My response was, yes, for sure. Little did they know that I had no idea what alchemy meant. For those of you who don't know me, never heard of me, I'm an actor. Being an actor, if someone asks me if I know something or if I know how to do something, for example, do you know how to ride a bike, Madhu? My response would be, yes, for sure. Yeah, after a lot of research, I found most of what I found about alchemy was related to some sort of medieval chemistry. But I did find one solitary phrase that jumped out of the screen and rung true to my very bones. The phrase goes, Alchemy is the work to find the unique through transformation. Truth be told, this phrase was embedded within a context of some chemistry experiment. It had equations and whatnot. Again, none of it made any sense to me. But the line in itself, the way it is constructed, once used in the context of self-improvement, opened my mind to a new way of thinking. I started my career as an actor 18 years ago. Back then, I did not have any clear goals, not even a clue as to which direction to move in because I was attracting work, all kinds of work, busy doing whatever came my way. Some films to this day will remain very close to my heart because of all the beautiful learning experiences. And some, when I look back, it's just embarrassing. I don't even know what I was thinking. After a point, I realized I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy just being busy, doing random work. There was no joy in it, and I wanted to break out of that. This was around the time when I had signed a film that was considered to be a great opportunity for any actor, like being a part of this project was a real big deal. I had a great time working. It was a great role challenging. It had everything that I wanted to do at that time. Soon after my first schedule of shoot, I get a call that was no longer than 10 seconds. The person on the phone said, I'm very sorry. The director has decided to go with someone else. All the best. Now, I wasn't sure if someone was playing some sort of sick joke or are my dreams about to come crashing down. The next day, it was all over the news and that had a huge impact on all my other movies. It was devastating. I'm sure this is not an isolated incident. Many of you must have faced incidences in your life, experiences where you believe everything is going great, and suddenly something unexpected happens, and it just breaks you, makes you feel like you're all alone, like no one really understands you, no one really cares about you. And the amount of self-doubt and insecurities this can trigger that's not something everybody can deal with all by themselves. In moments like these, it's important to have a good support system. 
someone you can talk to, someone who can guide us. And nothing like having a family member because they're always thinking in your best interest. For me, that person was my mother. I owe her a lot. She helped me put things in perspective, made me realize that I needed to channel my energies into creating something that resonates with me, something that will bring purpose, happiness, and satisfaction. She insisted that I needed to take a few steps back in order to rebuild, repurpose myself to achieve anything in life. This was a paradigm shift. I was no longer scared. I wasn't worried about being included. I found my space, and most importantly, I knew what I did not want to do anymore. This was my first step towards improvement and joy. The most obvious lesson that I learned out of this experience was, regardless of whether it's my fault or not, how to appreciate the value of failure. Simply put, I stopped feeling sorry for myself and got to work. Alchemy is the work to find the unique through transformation. I think the most important part of this phrase is alchemy being the work. Now, the work can be interpreted as a set of actions performed consistently to experience improvement. This is where I think our understanding of success needs to change, a little bit at least. We've been, view, we've been viewing success as a destination. What if it isn't? What if success is the act of performing the work consistently while experiencing changes with the positive intent of progress? Since I decided not to reside in my sorrows, I directed my energy towards enhancing my mental health and physical fitness. Remember, this is not a story of six pack, of six pack on, in six months. I tried working out an hour a day, a diet change. I started enjoying the post-workout pump of happy hormones. All of this process that made me who I am, I think it took, it wasn't easy, you know, to sacrifice something, break out of your comfort zone, but no sacrifice, no victory. I had to make lifestyle changes in order to continue the routine, which I intended to follow because I did not have a choice. We can talk about changing our lifestyles as much as we want. However, a lack of action puts us in a stagnant state. Our everyday actions, regardless of failure or success, leads to new ideas, new innovations, new methods. And also, somewhere deep down, you start feeling a lot more confident. And this started reflecting in my personality. I started attracting the kind of work I want. I had the opportunity to work with some of the most renowned filmmakers and actors. Actors like Amitabh Bachchan, Sanjay Dutt, Kamal Hassan. Then, then I wanted to do more, more than just be an actor. I started a clothing line. My mom helps me with designing, and we have such a fun time creating something unique. Then, I wanted to do more. With all the experiences and associations that I've made and gathered over the years, I started a production house with my husband. We made our first film, which is under post-production. It's a humble attempt at something new, where, we've tried, where, where we have tried to stay true to the craft. All of this progress that I've made over the last few years, it's an accumulation of everyday action. This concept, as a society, I think we've forgotten. I think we've forgotten that in order to gain something of value, something of equal value must be given in return. Thank you.